Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Question. For this one, it's going to be a game called Dreadout. This is the demo version, as you can see in the bottom left corner. The game is not officially released yet, but I'm actually planning on reviewing the full version when it is released. So, what is Dreadout? Dreadout is what can best be described as the closest thing we're going to be getting to a PC version of Fatal Frame. Literally. So, this is a game made in the Unity Engine. How do I know this? Because in every single Unity game I've played, when you start it up, it breaks up this little box that tells you what you want your resolution to be and what your graphic preset you want it to be. Ranging from slow, from fast to fantastic, etc, etc. So anyways, this game has a a couple of neat features that I see just for the main menu itself. So graphic settings, uh, the re resolution isn't in here. I don't know why, and I guess that's a bug. Again, this is the demo version. This is not the official release. So you have depth of field, SSAO, which I'm going to turn on. And vignette correct, color correction, anti-aliasing, noise effect. You got a bunch of different options here. Noise effect, I'm pretty sure that's like film grain and stuff like that. So if you want any more, Fatal framey feel to it. You could select that if you so desire. Volume light. I guess I'll turn that on. I don't know what that does because I'm not a professional ph photographer. I don't even know what vignette effect is. Again, I'm not a professional photographer, so I'm going to be experiencing this all for the first time. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm it, <clears throat> and then click cancel. There is no back button. Sound, it's fairly basic, just sound effects and music. I'm actually going to turn it down just a little bit more because it's quite loud. Game settings, you have mouse sensitivity, subtitles, and language. This game is made by developers who live in Indonesia. So you have English or Indonesia. That's pretty much it. And if you so desire, you could say, Bahasa? I, I don't know. I'm not even going to try it. Okay, and what is this? Online profiles. Well, take a look at the top r left corner. You can see that I'm connected to Facebook. That's my full name. Yes, that is my name. Don't judge. If you do, I will just simply ignore you. Anyways, that is my Facebook name. I don't even know why I connected it. I suppose it, I thought of it as a pretty neat feature. Basically, what this game says is that when you take pictures in this game, you can share it to your Facebook profile. I don't have any Facebook friends, so I don't know why I enabled it, but hell, might as well. So, you pretty much go to online profiles, and I'll tell you who you're signed in as, and it'll print. The process is actually a little complicated because it's not simply allow or disallow. Instead, you actually have to paste a token key thing into the game, which it'll give you a box to paste it into. And then it'll say, okay, so you did allow us, so we'll be able to post it to your Facebook page. So there's that. And I have not played this game before, so, you might hear some yelling because this is this is a horror game. I'm not going to be playing the full demo, I'm just going to be playing a portion of it. Just to give you a taste of what it's like. I am going to be showing the cutscenes this time because it's a demo, you can get it for free off the NDDB website. There's also a Steam Greenlight page, so you can vote for it to be on Steam. I will provide the link to that when I'm done when, in the description. And when I'm done. So, without further ado, let's go on with the game. Let's go ahead and select this profile. Profile setting. I should be able to refer to myself as. Uh, I completely forgot the name of the camera that was in Fatal Frame. I know it was like, oh, I don't know. I completely forgot the name of the camera in Fatal Frame. So, I'm just going to put it as frame. We're going to be referring ourselves as frame this time around. As always, I will shut up during these cutscenes.
All right, and we're in the game. That was a very short cutscene. And that phone will not shut up. I'm already getting a very fatal framey feel from it, even though it's kind of in a different perspective. Instead of a fixed camera angle where you could easily pre render images, instead, it's in a constant third person view. So, what is this? Well, it's a phone. And someone's calling you. Who is it? Ira. Whoa, okay, that was not okay. Let me tell you something. That was not okay. <clears throat> so, this is already pretty neat. Apparently, you could only see ghosts using the camera. That's going to be fairly creepy. I'm already getting really bad Fatal Frame vibes from this. In a good way, because I actually really enjoyed Fatal Frame. I have... Don't judge me. I have not actually completed Fatal Frame 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. Yes, there is a 4. But currently it's only in Japan. So... Uh, through this door. Okay. Any ghosts? Hey, you're not a ghost. You're just a girl. Oh. Apparently, you're not just a girl. Okay. Hello? Let me tell you something. This is not okay. That is no bueno. Do you understand the language that I am speaking? Why am I asking a ghost if it understands the language I'm speaking? That's a very creepy picture. I'm gonna take it. Just because I can. Now, one thing you'll notice in this game right now is that it is very, very dark. Are we outside? Or are we still in a building? We're still in a building. Oh god! What was that? That was not okay! I'm gonna take that as a sign that says, Get the fuck moving. Ghost lady? What the? Oh, hello. That's pretty neat, actually. The camera opened up a new path. So you could freely switch between camera view and normal view and move around in it. I don't recall if you could actually move around in camera mode in Fatal Frame. But already this is... See, what the hell is that? Rat! God damn it, rat. It's not okay. Hello? I'm not gonna lie. I am not gonna lie. This is actually sufficiently creeping me out. That is a poorly made car, but okay. Is this supposed to be grudge hair or is this supposed to be grass? I'm going to take the safe route and say that's grass and not grudge hair. Because, quite frankly, I've had enough of grudge for one lifetime. Have I been through here? No, that's apparently locked. Okay, let's head upstairs then. Because going upstairs in a building that you've never been in is always a good idea. It is really dark. This camera's flashlight is extremely terrible. But that again, that's what you get for using a for using a phone as a flashlight. What is that? Is that a cat? It is a cat. 
Hello, cat. How are you doing? Hey, how's it going? You doing okay, cat? You doing okay? You doing okay? Can I get by? No? Okay. Cat, why are you following me? Cat. Cat, what are you doing? Cat, stop. You're drunk. Let me take a picture of you. Because you're cute. I like cats. Cat's still following me. Cat, why are you following me? Cat, what are you doing? Do you want me to pet you? Well, okay, cat. You can come with me if you so desire. Is the cat still following me? Yes, the cat is indeed still following me. Cat, what are you doing? Why are you following me? Do you want me to pet you? I would gladly pet you, except this character does not know how to pet cats. Hello? Anybody in here? On the bed? Huh? Anything that I must loot? Hmm. The music stopped. Why is that? I don't like that the music stopped. Okay, cat. Let's go. There is nothing for us up here, cat. I can actually see better while I'm in camera mode, which is fairly odd. If I had to recommend anything to the developer is to increase the brightness on the flashlight. I mean... Hello? Tell me I wasn't the only one who heard that. That's not openable. Where'd the cat go? Cat? Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Oh boy, bathroom. Hmm. Oh, there's the cat. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Come on, kitty. Come on, kitty. Come on. Let's get out of here, cat. Let's get out of here. We no longer need to be in this place. Are you still following me, cat? Cat. Cat. Why are you not following? Cat, what are you doing? Come on, cat. Let's go. It's probably how I could just see the cat's eyes in the background. Okay, I actually have no idea where to go. But that is a terrible thing. Cat, come on. Keep up, cat. Come on, cat. Keep up. Are you trying to leave me somewhere, cat? Or are you just simply following me? I think you're just simply following me, cat. Okay, cat, follow me downstairs. Come on, I apologize for that. Mom was asking where her credit card was. I did not buy anything with it except for groceries. Anyways, this is actually a fairly silent review, I noticed. I don't know why Cat is not following me downstairs. Cat, do you not like stairs? Cat, do you not like stairs, Cat? Come on, cat. Come on. If you don't like stairs, then let's go. Let's go this way. Can I open this door at least? Come on, cat. Let's go. Cat is currently my best friend. It's my only friend.
Hey cat, what are you doing? Hmm. I actually have no idea where to go, so... Huh. Can't really say much. Okay, there has to be something in that room that the cat was in front of. What's that noise? Cat's not nearby me. Do I close the door? Not the guard with the door. There's no paths opening up. Hmm. I honestly have no clue what in the hell is going on. Huh. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and pause this recording while I figure out where in the hell I'm supposed to go. So once I do figure that out, I will see you as soon as I unpause. So yeah. Okay, that's new. I don't think I've seen a hanging teddy cat here before. Why is there a hanging teddy cat? Teddy cat, what are you doing here? Explain this to me. Teddy cat, why? Why did you do it, teddy cat? Explain this to me. Why am I able to enter the room you are in, teddy cat? Do I flip the switch? Teddy cat. Do I have to take you off? Somehow, some way? Teddy cat. Teddy cat. Speak to me. <clears throat> okay then. Oh. When did you get there? Hi. How are you doing? Are you okay? Do I know you? Do I know you? I think I do. Say cheese! I don't know. I don't know, but we have to get out of here. <clears throat> okay. I totally trust you that you won't try to kill me. Oh. Hey. Which way did you go? Did you go up? Or did you continue forward? Which way do you go? Guess you went up. Hey, cat. How are you doing? Where'd you go? <sighs> she is not here. Cat, do you know where she went? Because I do not. She just disappeared on me. Wow, she went in here. This... Oh! Take pictures! Take pictures! Take all the pictures! That was not okay. Oh boy. Where am I? That... 
run towards the light, my child. Run towards the light and be saved. Okay. Hello? I don't like this place anymore. I want to get out. Okay. Cat's no longer here. I'm scared. Someone hold me. And who's crying? Why is it? Oh. I can't leave this place. You don't even want to get out of this place. You have to get out of here. Take this key and leave now. Oh. I now have the key to the main door. Is that the main door? I shall leave. Whoa. Okay. What the? What the fuck? I I could have sworn I was just in a house, and I still can't see anything. I'm now in a graveyard. Why am I now in a graveyard? Okay. This is a fairly large graveyard where all the graves are randomly scattered all over the place. This is not how you organize a graveyard. This is not organization at all. Okay, it's seriously really difficult to see anything directly in front of you. Oh. Hi. I'm gonna take a picture of you. Because why not? What in the fuck? That's just freaky. Oh god. Just... No. Can I please just... Go around you? Or something? Where in the hell am I? I don't know! But that! That is just freaky! What is that? Someone explain to me what this is! What is this? All I really know is that when I stand under it, it's just like... <laughs> I wonder what happens if I just stay under it.
How's it going? Okay. I'm officially confused on where the hell I'm supposed to go. You are still freaky as fuck. I am going to go away now. So, final thoughts right now. Wow, that was weird. Final thoughts at the moment. It is pretty freaky right now. Sure, it took forever for me to figure out where the hell I was going, but hey, it's just what happens. Oh! He followed me! He followed me! You son of a bitch! Take all the pictures! How about you go away now? That's right. What the? Hey! Go away! I command you to go away! The power of Christ is embedded within this phone and I use it to compel you away! That's right. Oh, hey, it's you again. How are you doing? Except you have three lit candles instead of two. Instead of one. I don't understand the purpose of this candle. Do I have to take another picture of you? Picture! Say cheese! I have no clue where I'm going. So yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and end the review here. First impressions, this is actually a fairly freaky game. I highly recommend it. It's pretty much the closest thing we're going to get to a PC Fatal Frame. Would I say that it's better? No, I actually would not. I would not say that it's better than Fatal Frame under any circumstances. Fatal Frame 2 was pretty damn good. Except it never got a PC port. Which was sad. But, as a PC title, I could say that it is fairly freaky. Still have no idea where that house went. Why is there just a ramp couch here? I have no clue. Candle, guide me. I don't know where I'm going. I honestly do not know. Oh, uh, so yeah. If you want to download the demo, the link's down in the description. And if you want to vote for it on Steam, there is a stream Steam Greenlight page. Are these stairs? No, these are not stairs. That is a wall. That is indeed a wall. You are still pretty freaky. I do not know why you exist, but you do. So that's okay. All right, I've been Frame, and I'll see you in the next episode. Less love, less question, and let's say goodbye. Have a nice day. I'll see you next time.